the Influencer Entrepreneurs Podcast with Jenny Melrose, where I strategize with business owners on how to grow and scale their businesses to hit their income goals. This is episode 306 of the Influencer Entrepreneurs Podcast with Jenny Melrose. Today, we're going to be jumping into how to use Pinterest idea pins as part of a sponsored campaign working with brands. So now before we jump into that, I want to make sure that if you haven't already grabbed my updated pitching guide, that you do so. You can send me a DM on Instagram at Jenny underscore Melrose, and I will send you that. It is going to walk you through how to really make sure that you are standing out in inboxes when you are reaching out to brands. As many of you know, I walk people through this. I have hundreds of thousands of students that have gone through my signature course, Pitch Perfect Pro but the pitching guide gives you the foundation to make sure that you are hitting on all of the pain points that you need in order to stand out. So if you haven't already grabbed that, make sure that you send me a DM and I will send it directly to you. You can also always hop over to the show notes and I will make sure that it is there as well. So and let's talk about exactly how we're going to use Pinterest idea pins as part of a sponsored campaign. The first thing is understanding how to use Pinterest idea pins as part of a sponsored campaign can actually greatly change the price that you charge on a proposal. As many of you know, I teach that for a proposal, you do a package price. You do not individually tell a brand what you charge for a Pinterest pin, an Instagram reel, an Instagram post to your feed, a blog post, an email blast. All of those things I want you to have prices for, but we're gonna give them a package price. That way you have wiggle room to be able to negotiate with them when they try to tell you that they don't have that amount of money for a campaign. And this way you always stay above your hate rate, which many of you have heard me talk about, but that's the rate at which you are going to hate yourself for working on the campaign, as well as hate the campaign that you are working on. So you always wanna make sure that you stay above that hate rate and by creating a package proposal, proposal, it allows you to do that. So the first thing that I want to talk about with this is exactly what idea pins are. Many of you are familiar with them. You see them as soon as you hop into Pinterest. And they're important because they are changing the way that we see Pinterest as compared to something like Instagram, where Instagram has reels and video content. This is Pinterest's way of trying to get involved in that game as well. Now, for many longtime bloggers like myself who consider themselves dinosaurs or OG bloggers, idea pins are frustrating. There's no link that can actually go through for people to get to your blog, which is very frustrating for those of us that are used to using Pinterest in order to drive traffic. Pinterest is trying to change the way that they are used by users, though. They don't want to necessarily lose the users to have them go over to a blog to, to allow those page views. Instead, they're trying to build brand awareness for users just like Instagram. So it has become extremely important because now brands can see themselves as building brand awareness for themselves by having idea pins out there. So now as you go into Pinterest, it's just like going into Instagram, where if you go through, you see a quick reel, you see a product being used or talked about in a recipe or in a DIY, it has built your brand awareness. It has allowed you to see it. You don't need to go and click through to that website and buy it immediately. And the great thing is, that's what sponsorships are all about. You all have heard me talk about how sponsorships are not about getting people to purchase right then and there to take action. Instead, it's about building awareness so that when your audience goes to the store or goes online the next time to or thinks about, hmm, I need new mascara. Well, I'm going to buy the mascara that I saw that beauty influencer using in an Instagram reel because her lashes looked amazing. You don't have to have the click through right then and there. And that's what sponsorships are all about, which is why Pinterest idea pins are so important for us as bloggers and influencers, because it's actually more valuable to the brand than it ever was before. When you used to put up an, uh, an actual pin 
that was part of a sponsored campaign didn't really serve the brand a ton. It served the brand in the way that it got page views over to your website, but there really wasn't any building of brand awareness. You were trying to drive traffic. But now with an idea pin, you have the opportunity to actually build that brand awareness instead for the brand. So now there is a ton of value that comes with it. Now, when we're looking at this, I have a lot of students at Pitch Perfect Pro that will ask me, what's more important, your followers or your impressions? Which should I be worried about? Well, both come into effect. I have students that have 120,000 followers on Instagram and get 1 million impressions in a 30 days time. I have other students that have 75,000 followers on Pinterest and get 10 million impressions in 30 days. Which one is more valuable? Clearly, if someone with 75,000 is getting 10 million impressions and the one with 111,000 is only getting 1 million, the one with 75,000 followers is more important and more valuable because the amount of impressions that are coming out. And when you are putting out idea pins, your impressions are only going to go up because we all can see that when we go into Pinterest, Pinterest is pushing idea pins. They want their feed, your feed, to be full of idea pins rather than Pinterest pins. So because of this, it is becoming more and more valuable in order for you to put out idea pins and then your impressions will increase. And that is the value to the brand because those impressions are all the eyes that are getting onto that campaign that you are running. So when you're looking at your Pinterest, what it really matters in the past you probably heard me say eh, impressions isn't a big deal we even heard me talk to carly campbell back in one of the episodes where we talked about how to use pinterest for bloggers in 2022 and moving forward into 2023 if you didn't listen to that episode you're definitely going to want to go back and listen to it because she gives some great ideas but she also talks about this idea that followers impressions impressions aren't really a big deal to a blogger because it's not resulting in direct direct traffic, but for a brand, impressions matter huge. It's just like Instagram, reels, views matter. So when you are looking at this, the more impressions you have, the better off, the more you're going to be able to charge. So that when we are looking at putting together that proposal that we talked about before, you're able to come up with a package price that shows the value for that idea pin that you've put together. An idea pin isn't just one image, it's multiple images, which means that it's worth more money because you're putting more work into creating that content. And it's not a direct result for you with page views. We know that that is what we are seeing with Pinterest now, that we're not getting the same traffic we used to, but it is getting more eyes. It's becoming more and more valuable to brands. So if you haven't put an idea pin yet into your proposals, I highly recommend you do so. If you are someone like some of the students that I have that have huge Pinterest numbers but may not have large Instagram numbers, guess what? You just got your foot in the door and you got your foot in the door big time. So make sure you are including that in your proposals. Have an idea pen as part of the package that you are recommending to your brands. All right, you guys, I know that some of you are going to have some questions about, well, what do I charge and how does that work? Signature Course Pitch Perfect Pro really dives deeper into all of the different str pricing strategies that you can be using for all of the different social media outlets, as well as for your blog, your email list, all the little things that you can possibly be doing. So if you are curious about that, first make sure you have my pitching guide. If you have not, if you are already a student of Pitch Perfect Pro, go back, make sure that you are checking out all the updates because we continuously are adding updates to the course to make sure that you have the most up-to-date information that is going to impact your business. As always, I appreciate you guys so much. If you have a chance to leave a rating and review, I would highly, highly appreciate it. It helps to get great guests on the show. And as always, I'll see you all next time.